This is everything I've ever dreamed of. A room with empty walls, a clean slate, no holes, no needing to paint, a clean canvas. So in this video, we're going to be building the most incredible and perfect setup I will ever build for myself. Before we get started, a quick thank you to Pixio for sponsoring today's video. The vision for this new setup starts with a desk, and this desk had to be big. I mean, really big. So I took a 45 minute drive to Ikea, and I found this butcher block that is 98 inches long, which was perfect for what I needed it. Not to mention, it was priced at $229, which is perfect. I went with the lighter color version, and this thing was heavy. Anyway, after I managed to get it into the new room, I set it up on the two Alex drawers, and I put an extra Alex drawer in the middle but don't worry this is only a temporary solution next i spent a lot of time measuring and wanting to make sure this desk fit exactly in the middle of this wall after measuring up everything and setting up the desk exactly how i wanted it i got these l-shaped brackets off of amazon to mount under the desk the reason is i do not want any legs in the middle i know i'm risking it but at the end there's not gonna be a lot of weight in the middle of the desk so hopefully this works i mounted the l-shaped brackets under the desk and bolted them into the bottom of the desk which seemed to support the desk pretty well so i was happy with the result we'll see long term how this ends up next it was time to find the exact center of this desk i can put a monitor mount on the wall right in the center where it's the perfect height for how i sit so after a few adjustments and measurement i found the exact spot i got this monitor mount from amazon that was only 15 dollars, which is also another risk i'm taking because i don't know how good this thing will be anyway after a lot of measurement i mounted this monitor mount on the wall and i used my nzxt monitor as my test monitor until the new monitor arrives which speaking of the new monitor thank you pixio for sponsoring today's video and sending their pixio 34 inch monitor model pxc 34 hc 34 inch ultra wide monitor 144 hertz one of must response rate with a 1500 r curve started by unboxing this monitor honestly this is a really nice monitor it comes with a stand that has built-in height tilt and swivel adjustments it feels like it's made with a really high quality material which is a big deal for ultra wides in my opinion the monitor and the monitor stand have built-in holes for cable management which is super nice on the back of the monitor there's two 2. hdmi inputs and 1.4 dpi input as well as a USB C and a headphone jack one really cool feature this monitor has is it has built-in rgb ring around the back of the monitor so you don't have to install extra rgb if you want to shine that light from down the monitor mounting wise this is a vasa certified monitor which is perfect for what i needed i mounted the new pixio monitor on the wall and honestly it looks perfect it's the perfect size if you want to learn more about this pixio monitor the link is in the description next it was time to plan out the cable management and my idea here is to put a power strip behind the monitor and plug everything that needs to be above the monitor and have one power cable going behind the monitor behind the speaker so it's not seen from when you're looking straight at the setup before we do the cable management let me show you really quick what i usually use for cable management the first and most important thing is these cable raceways that i use that i buy off of amazon for like 20 bucks they have holes on the side they're super easy to use and they have pre-installed adhesive for making things more tidy and nice i use these double-sided tapes and for behind the monitors and the computers i usually use these velcro strips that are individually attached you can just stick one off and tie in a cable to make it look a little bit nicer anyway i was left with a massive mess of cables to handle and i started working on that i put everything under the desk behind the drawers and routed the power cable behind the speaker and the monitor for power accessibility behind the monitor anyway the cable started to look really good but the next step was to add my computer this is my computer that i've been using for the last while this is the nzxt h9 elite i'll leave all the specs here on the screen for you guys to take a look at brought up the pc did more cable management behind the pc and that was it i added the pc to the setup and it's starting to look really nice now the next part's kind of silly because uh, i have this boom arm from elgato this is a low profile boom arm but i really don't like that it's black they don't usually sell it in white so i decided what if i spray painted it took it outside started spray painting it first coat it looks really good and then uh, unfortunately by the end of the afternoon i completely forgot about it after i sprayed it painted it and the wind was blowing and it blew the whole thing off and uh, kind of destroyed it but i still used it in the setup installed that boom arm in there now the next part is what brings the whole setup together and it is all the accessories and peripherals that i'm going to be using in the setup to start we have a stream deck plus from elgato this is their brand new stream deck that just released in white so this will be perfect for the setup for adjusting lights moving things around and adjusting audio i use stream deck not as a streamer but just for you know productivity's reasons anyway i added that to the setup and it looked really nice the next thing was a combination for audio from beacon 
This is the Beacon Max Create and the Beacon Microphone. These come fully in white and they look incredible. The Beacon Max Create basically allows you to have different channels for audio, whether it's your Discord, browser, all that, all adjustable with these knobs that I have on the top of it, which is super perfect. And the microphone is in white too, which is perfect for this setup. I installed those under the monitor, routed everything properly, and it looked really good. Now, the next part is crazy. This is a glass mouse pad from Skypad GG. I've used them before for other mouse pads and they make glass mouse pads and they sent out this extra large glass mouse pad that is perfect for gliding laying your arm on it and it's literally one of my favorite things about the setup because i love mice i love really good glide and this is perfect for it i put that in the setup this next part is really special it's actually from razor they sent out a few products for this project and some future projects that we're going to be working on but for this project we're going to be using the razor death adder v3 pro an incredible wireless mouse i love this mouse it's super ergonomic feels really good and we'll be using it on this glass mouse pad for an incredible glide i mean look at this and for the head Headphones, we're going to be using the Razer Black Shark V2 Pro, and these are wireless headphones that are come in white or mercury is the color that Razer uses. These headphones are incredible. They have 7.1 surround system. Really good microphone, by the way. If you guys want to check out how that microphone sounds, check out my short form content on TikTok or YouTube or whatever. Not to mention, they're super comfortable. I've used them a few times as I'm recording on this voiceover, and I really like them. They're literally my favorite headphones that I've ever tried when it comes to wireless gaming headphones. So for the next part, this is actually a collaboration with a TikToker. This is Lion OG. He sent out a coiled cable for my keyboard. Uh, he just started his own business and he's selling these coiled cables. If you guys want to check him out and support another homie, go check him out down below in the description. And connected to it is this really special keyboard from Drunk Deer. This keyboard is not mechanical. This is a magnetic switch that can basically have different sensitivity for the click. So when you barely tap the key, it actually registers. I love how it looks. It feels really good. It sounds really good and it's pretty quiet. Now the next two accessories are super, super cool. The first one is this monitor bar from BenQ. This is the screen bar halo, such a futuristic thing that I've never even thought that would you know be in my setup but this thing is incredible lights up everything lights up where the mouse is where the keyboard is the whole desk and it's really good for your eyes nice thing is you can adjust the lighting to whatever temperature you would like it to be as well as the brightness which is perfect for different use cases and the last accessory that we're adding to the setup is these angry meow cyber blades these are gaming earbuds that have 7.1 surround sound in them noise cancellation incredible eight hour battery and they're really good for gaming now moving on to wrap this whole setup I wanted to add some RGB. To start with, we're gonna move away from the main desk. And I actually bought this Calyx shelf system from Ikea. It cost about $79. I bought the white version, built it, took about 15 minutes. I also had an extra RGB strip, put it behind the Calyx so it shines on the wall. It's an incredible addition to the setup that has to do with decoration. Now, decoration is a very important thing of having a good setup look good. And now for the last two things before I show you the final result of the setup. Above the monitor, I always wanted to add some really cool RGB, and I had around the nano leaf lines from my previous setup so i put them up right behind the monitor where you can't see any cables and i started building this layout that i saw on instagram that i thought is pretty cool so i built everything i put my 3d clock in the middle and it turned out perfect it looks really good on the wall not too much rgb and not too little it just brightens everything up now to tie it all up here we're going to be adding the my secret lab chair that it fits perfectly in this setup everything in the setup that i mentioned will be down below in the description via links that will support my channel which i appreciate if you buy things through those links without further ado the final results of the setup I'd like to thank Pixio again for sponsoring this video. Again, if you want to check out their monitor, it'll be linked down below in the description. And thank you again for watching this video. Make sure you tell somebody you love them and happy gaming. See you guys next time.